How's it going everyone? And in this video, we're going to be walking through one of the most important tools you'll be using with your Arduino, and that is the breadboard, which is this guy right here. And so the reason why breadboards are super cool is that basically very quickly, they can let us wire up circuits much more fast than we could if we were soldering stuff. And so what happens along these breadboards is that you've got these two outer columns of these connections, and you've got these inner rows. And so everything along these two outer columns is connected together. So what I mean by that is that if I was to plug one wire right here and plug another wire, so I've got a black wire right there, anywhere along this column right here will be connected together very quickly and easily. And so that is why it's so powerful. Again, same thing. If I connect anything along this red vertical column to somewhere right here, if I wanted to connect this yellow wire to this black wire, all I have to do is anywhere along here, connect it in just like that. And I've now formed a connection between these two wires electrically. So we're gonna take these two guys out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of these LEDs turn on. So I've got a green LED right here and we've got our Arduino and I have a little power supply. So we're going to connect our power supply into this five volt socket on our Arduino and push this guy just in, in like that. And we're gonna note that we're still running our old logic on this guy, it makes no impact because the only thing we care about right now are these power pins right here. And so on these power pins, you can see that we've got ground or GND, five volts and 3.3 volts. I'm going to be forming a connection between the 5.5 volts and the ground. Something I wanna show you also before we do anything on our breadboard is how these pins work on these LEDs. And so because an LED is a light emitting diode, diodes care about the direction of current, the longer foot needs to go to positive or the higher voltage. So in our case, from five volts to ground. So what I can do is again, just take this LED like that and connect it between the five volt pin and the ground pin. We make our LED light up just like that. If you were to reverse this, it won't work. So just like that. So LEDs care about current. If your LEDs are not turning on, make sure that you are doing it right because they do care about that direction of current. So what we're gonna do now though, is I'm going to take my black wire, I'm going to connect this to ground, just like that, and take my other black wire, other end of it, plug it into the negative column on our breadboard, and then I'm going to take a yellow wire, and I'm going to connect this to the five volt end, just like this, and we're going to connect the other end of the yellow wire to anywhere along this red column here. So now, everywhere along this column, there's that five volt potential difference coming from our Arduino. So all I have to do is take my LED just like this, and again, just connect it in just like that, and we can see this guy turning on, and that's pretty cool. So now we understand how these outer columns work. Let's look at these inner rows. So basically, if I wanted to introduce a resistor into my circuit, the way I could do that is as follows. So you can bend these things a lot. Metal's very ductile or ductile. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take something from here, and we're going to connect our positive to let's say row 15, just like that. So now I've formed a connection between positive to row 15. And so I'm gonna do also take my longer foot of the LED and we're going to go from row 15 down to row 16 with our shorter foot, just like that. And then we need to make this a complete circuit. We have to get this to the ground or the negative side. So I'm going to take anything along this row on row 16 so we'll try this guy. We're going to connect this to ground uh, just like that or anywhere along this line right here and we can now form a complete circuit. So that is how these breadboards work. Obviously we can start throwing in a lot more stuff like more LEDs and try some potentiometers or more resistors uh, and see how our circuits work. Uh, but that is the key concept behind these breadboards and how quickly and easy it is for us to wire up circuits. If you had to solder stuff, this would always take a lot more time. And so for prototyping purposes, these are fantastic tools at your dispense as you are working on your Arduino project. So that's gonna wrap things up for this second video in the Arduino series. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys next time.